Hey guys, it's Jamie, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. And today is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, there's an open collab going on called Hashtag Journal Jubilee, and it's hosted by Jennifer Elizabeth over at Perry Peekles Vlogs, and Linda over at Pretty Designs and Thrifty Finds. And like I said, this is an open collab. Anyone can join in and show like anything journal related, uh, like a, a fitness journal, a uh, any kind of journal. I'm drawing a blank right now. Sorry. <laughs> um, junk journals and whatnot. So with all that being said, um, I started a flip through last Tuesday of my, it's like a collage journal type thing. And I've been working on it for, like I said, a, a very, very long time, like a couple of years or longer. So it's pretty almost full. I only have a few pages left to do in the back. But I will, I got through some of it the other day. And today is part two of my flip through here. And this one is just like it's all food themed. <laughs> so any kind of images, food, there's so much, like too much I think. <laughs> Images in here are so many tiny food things. And here's the other side. Like I said, I'm not real crazy about these pages. Like, this is when I was first starting out to do this. And, I mean, I still like to do this. But, I think, like I said, some of my pages, pages get better as the book goes on. I'm still not, like, you know, awesome or anything at this. But, here's the next page. It's like a girly beauty themed makeup and all that stuff try to get in here without getting blurry lots and lots of images <laughs> and like I said it, it's really fun to find images to put in here like uh, you can use magazines books uh, taking pages out of like old books, you can get the Dollar Tree or something. You can uh, cut things out of all sorts of ways to find stuff. And this is my Halloween slash another scary one. <laughs> like I said, I'm very, very into the scary movies. We got Carrie there, <laughs> Ouija board. And I don't care what anybody says about Ouija boards. I'm not, like, a huge, huge believer in all that stuff. I mean, I do believe, you know, maybe an afterlife or whatnot. But uh, don't really mess with Ouija boards. Me and my friends did it way back in the day in high school. And it's real. That's all I can say. Um, nothing crazy happened, but it is real. And it got a little scary after a while. So that's a different story for a different day, if you want to hear that one. And we've got some more scary movies, some Freddy Krueger. And man, I, when I was a kid, he freaked me out because the movies were, came out in the 80s. But now I watch them, they're almost like cheesy. <laughs> so, yeah. So here is another like 80s, 90s type spread. I'm going to start this side this time. Some 80s sitcoms that I used to watch. So Molly Ringwald up there in the corner. Like I said, I watched, I think I watched way too much TV growing up in movies. <laughs> oh well, at least I wasn't out getting in too much trouble when I was young. Here's some more. Some Pac-Man at the top. Care Bears. And... Does anybody remember my so-called life? It was only on one for one season, and it was like one of the best teen like drama series they had back in the nineties. I don't know why they didn't make more seasons, so that always made me mad. And one of my all-time favorite movies, Heather's. I know a lot of you guys have seen that. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this like eighties, nineties thing. And I really like these next two pages. They're more like a vintage -y, older uh, 
like Hollywood type stuff. And this camera is just not good. Just having to use an old phone. And it's not fun. And, oh yeah, I think I mentioned in the last video too. To find like images like Marilyn Monroe and like Frank Sinatra. There's an old, or it's not an old magazine. It's a magazine called Remind. And it goes back in time to all the uh, like media, like uh, celebrities who was popular. Yeah. We've got some Judy Garland. Oh, like I was saying about that Remind magazine, you can get images out of there. If I didn't say that already, I've had a very, very stressful, like, last few days trying to do this without being too scatterbrained. We got some 50s cars up there. Some... I love the dresses the women wore back in the 50s. Lucille Ball. I had fun with this one. This is when I started to use some uh, background paper when I realized I could use that. And then I I hate this where I used a pen in some parts. This is, like I said, <laughs> it looks kind of cheesy, but I didn't really start using the uh, the background paper or the, uh, like, here we go again, can't talk. <laughs> the uh, cardstock paper. There we go. I apologize for all this babbling and incoherently it seems like and I really like these two pages that like this came from a Dollar Tree book like about art or something and I really had really really cool old images this looks like it's more like the Victorian era I love that era too like the like I said how everyone dressed and just so cool Here's some more. So these images were just beautiful. I think I cut out almost all of them, but I have a few more left in that book. Like I said, don't skip out on these Dollar Tree books, especially ones with pictures, because you can really, really find a lot of stuff. So, okay. Come back a little bit. Okay, another page here with more of the images uh, from that book. They're just so cool, like artsy, artsy, like really, really captures the uh, old Victorian era. And the next one here. A little owl at the side of there. And this one's I really like too. With a really light pink background. Got some books. Another image for that book, of course. And this one here. It's just like a real big picture of the girl who is like in the book, obviously. And there's not really much going on this page, just some big images. And I'm not crazy about this page. I, I use, like I said, marker or something in the background. I don't know. I guess I'm just really picky and getting OCD about this stuff sometimes. But I do like the picture of the bike I found. There, it's not blurry. And here is the other side. Like I said, more coloring I did that doesn't look very good. Like I said, there's no rules in this, though. Like... That's what's good about journals. You can make them however you want to make them. And this is one of my favorite pages. Uh, it's got the really, really cool old art from back in the day. And a pretty butterfly. I just like the uh, blue theme, how I uh, have the, uh, you know, the colors all going together. And this is a, like, just a, like a nature page with... Have some owls, some trees, a swan and her baby. Alright, sorry, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to go too fast, but I don't, we don't want to go too slow either and drag this out forever and ever. I probably won't even get through this I'll probably go to a part three because there's a lot in here still. And um oh yeah, I forgot uh, I mentioned last video that you can use a CD 
look, they're from CD booklets. Like people, well, you can still buy CDs, but there's really, really cool art in those. And these and this, all this came from CDs, except for these little cards here. But uh, all these came from. This was like a Sarah McLaughlin one. Uh, the band Bush, I remember which ones they came out of. And this one also. And it's got, this is also a Sarah McLaughlin one in the background. Uh, not many more of the CD ones here, but more just like uh, tarot cards. I'll try to get a little closer on these. And... Well, actually, that was part two, because um, these next few pages are just what I've done for Sticker Saturday, and I might as well just go ahead and show those real quick, because and there's a hashtag stick, Sticker Saturday Open Club going on, and where you just use stickers and in any way you want, and I used stickers, this was the last few weeks, we, do, we upload every Saturday. Here was the uh, Valentine one. I know you guys have probably, a lot of you have probably already seen these that I did from that video. It's not really taking long in these. Oh, oh yeah, this one. Celestial theme. Oh. And here's the other side. I really like this one. This came out of like a, some kind of, not a magazine. It was like some kind of old book that I had. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain what it was. Got some moon images. And there's this one. With the flower stickers. And I, I just started to use washi tape um, recently. And... Jen from uh, Perry Pico's vlog sent me some. I had some already, but I'm just now starting to use it more. Okay, then there's just one more, guys. I didn't do this other side, but I did this. This was last week's. Oh, without it getting blurry. The fall theme. And that was it for today, guys, for this uh, hashtag journal jubilee. And I hope you guys will join in on this and it's pretty fun, and I hope you guys have a great day, and please go check out Perry Pico's vlogs and Prairie Designs and Thrifty Finds, and hopefully, like I said, a lot of you guys will join in, and I'll see you in the next one.